Cheers, people. What's up? I'm Ren. This is The Machine. It's been another week, so let's take a look. All right. Thanks for showing up, people. Yes, as you can see, I have removed three of the plants uh, about an hour ago. Went ahead and pulled them out of here. I'm going to harvest them after I'm done filming all this. And that's working out great for me because I got that room back. I moved all those girls up here. So I've got five on the front right now, which is uh, fine when they're smaller, like these testers here. Uh, once they get larger, four is pretty much the max for me, the way I grow anyway. Um, you can see in the back there, we've still got that nine pound hammer. She is looking great. She was right here. This is one of the mothers took her place. And then that's the Bruce Banner back there in the corner. She's nearly done, but not quite. And since she's still looking reasonably well, I'm gonna let her spend a little bit more time in here because there is no hurry. So I've got plenty of quality smoke at this point. Man, things were getting pretty there for a while I was scraping the bottom of the barrel but not now so yep the mothers are looking good I wish I would have started uh, hitting her with the um, higher potassium mix before I did but that's fine she's still uh, stacking up very nicely so this is the one I think of as a little bush She's looking good. And this is the other mother. And uh, so far she's looking great. So the way it's kind of working out is the older ones and the taller ones are on this back row. Because they, uh, I really don't have to move this back tray. I just have to move these two front trays out to get to it. So I put all the, uh, the gangly plants with the long arms that uh, you know sway around a lot when I'm moving them. And uh, I don't like that because that's when they break and get snagged on things. So I just put them in the corners on this back row. That way I don't have to move them. But anyway, let me slide these out here and I'll get some close-ups of that Bruce Banner and the uh, nine pound hammer, for those of you that are interested in that, because that nine pound hammer is looking great. All right, here we are looking at that nine pound hammer. And she isn't the biggest specimen that I've ever had in here, but she's looking great at the moment. And it won't be long before she's ready. She's looking good. Let's see if I can get it to focus. On that some of the smaller lower buds plenty of frost there sugared up nicely it won't be long she'll be coming down and this Bruce Banner she's looking good as well Plenty of trichomes. She's got a bit more spread on her because, uh, of course, she was topped, obviously. But yeah, they're all looking great. This. I'm gonna have to get a steak in her pretty soon. She's starting to lean. All right, here we are back in the bedroom. And you can see the three mothers are doing great. Back here, I just gave them a haircut because I'm not ready to get any more clones going right at the moment. And then these are the next eight that will be going into flower whenever they're ready. I'm not gonna rush them. I'm just gonna let them sit here and veg until they get as big as I think they need to be. Then I'll put them in there 
This is the spot I've been waiting to get to. There's uh, no testers here. These are all proven stock from mothers that I chose. So, um, you know, I'm just gonna let these veg until they're ready to go. And I'll put them in, let them do their thing. And these are all the up and comers and they're all looking great. I'm just uh, feeding all the mothers and all these uh, 321 jacks and that's uh, 3.6, 2.4 and 1.2. Grams per gallon, and uh, they're all looking great. I just don't have uh, really enough room underneath that other light, but that's fine. These uh, HLG 65s are fine for this stage. You see, they're, they're looking just as good as the ones underneath that 400 watt metal halide. Plenty of smoke coming up here. So I'm happy to have these. And these will probably be a, you know, some of these will be a mother's. All right, and that brings me to the potatoes. Check it out, starting to get some growth here. I had no idea how many uh, shoots I would get from one potato or which ones might prove um, effective. So, you know, I just grabbed three of each, starting to get, get some uh, sprouts here as well and sweet potatoes. So happy to see that. Still not seeing anything on uh, these two, but that's fine. So that's why I got three of each. So I wasn't sure how this is gonna go. I've never done this before. All right, people, I told you I would take some pictures of these main colas from that last crop I grew. I've had them all sitting in uh, the large mason jars, curing, still on the stem here. And I finally laid them all out. And what we're looking at here, this is the Kim Dog number four. This is the OG Kush. These two are GDP, the Granddaddy Purples. These four, one, two, three, four, are all Doris Kush. These last two are the Girl Scout cookies. And these are the ones that are interesting to me. Well, they're all interesting because they look amazing. But if you remember, I let uh, one of the uh, GSCs go 74 days just because it was not ready. It wasn't something I was like, well, I'm gonna pull one of them at 60 days, which was this one. And then I'm gonna pull one of them at 74 days. It's just the 74 day one was not ready. Um, you know, like the majority of the pistols were still white. The uh, trichomes um, weren't amber. None of them, but yeah, look how much bigger. Let's see if I can get them side by side. The girth is amazing on the 74 day, the one on the left. Get them side by side. I'm trying to stand behind the camera. It's hard to do this and keep everything stable. But yeah, so it gives you an idea of the size of the. The uh, GSC, they're all uh, amazing. And I'm the type of person, I'll smoke the best stuff last. So these will all just sit and mature and age until uh, their call to duty comes up. Man, that door cush is amazing. Look at that. by the ruler there for you. But yeah, this uh, OG Kush, you can see how much um, more sparse it is. And this weighs so much less than the other colas. But it's amazing, I mean, all of it is. Wish you guys could smell all this. But yeah, these GDPs, Two different plants, obviously. Like I said, each one of these is the main cola. So yeah, there they are. Enjoy, people. Cheers. All right. Well, there you go, people. If you're growing, hope you're kicking ass. If you're not growing, hope you start soon. Cheers. Later. <laughs>